come on, don't be uh, conceited. Uh, no one can call himself, uh, you know, a smart. Okay, let people, uh, other people, judge you. Well, I'm not smart. Okay, I have very, 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 very low IQ. Okay, and uh, but I, I feel I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Anyway, so uh, I, I, do, I don't want to be, I don't want to make you a Muslim. Okay, I know you have a desire to be a Muslim. And I know you you love Islam actually, but you know, um, you may be scared uh, to disappoint people who just wanna uh, you know who is happy to listen to you and eventually say, okay guys, I'm sorry to say that I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm gonna be a Muslim. It's really something sh would be very shocking for them. Okay, so if you wanna be a Muslim. You can tell me uh, at PM, okay? I can help you. I swear to God, I can help you. And I will not tell anyone, okay? Mike is yours. Okay, Abu Hanafi, I, I want to be a Muslim, but I'm worried about something. The Hadith says that Satan will take hair from my butt when I'm praying. And honestly, this is really scaring me. Why Satan will take hair from your butt and how it feel? Like, as long as you have experience and you are a Muslim already, how it does feel when Satan take care from your butt, your mind? Um, okay, uh, salam alaikum. I like to say salam alaikum all the time because uh, it's healthy. I heard that. Well, I swear I got it's not funny. I heard that, um, or I read that actually in our site. But if you say salam alaikum and say, oh my God, or Allah, it's some kind of therapeutic thing, okay? I swear I got something real. real. Um, anyway, you said uh, if, if you pray to God, uh, Satan is going to take a, a what? Hair from your path? Oh my God. Well, uh, uh, at that time, uh, if that was a real thing, well, I'm sure it's not. You should shave. You should shave, okay? Shave your butt and everything would be fine. Mic is yours. What do you mean shave your butt? You, you Muslim, you shave your butt? You as a Muslim man, you shave your butt? Are you allowed to shave your butt as a Muslim man? It's very clear not because the Prophet said that this is will happen to every Muslim. I can show you the hadith. Satan take care of from your ass and he straight the hair out and he play with it like point, point, he play guitar and then he don't stop until he take it off and he calls you to fart and he hear it and he smell it what do you want to say to him ISD? Hi guys, well first of all I just want to say that I'm very shocked from this guy Abu he come up to the microphone he thinks that saying you know, Salaam Alaikum is magical, but then he uses God's name in vain right afterwards. Hello? What's wrong with you, Abu? Using God's name in vain, and then saying, saying peace is magical for you? Like, sorry, but you know what? You, you better think before you talk. Well, first, let us be fair. Like, he's a Muslim, and he knew exactly what happened to every Muslim but. So let us not to make assumption and show respect. Uh, Mr. Abu Hanafi, why Satan target, target the ass of a Muslim only? Why he don't target the ass of a Christians or Hindus or Buddhas? Why only the ass of a Muslim is always targeted by Satan? You mind. And do you really believe your prophet when he said that Satan would take care from your butt? And did ever Satan really take care from your butt, your mind? Okay, uh, well, uh, this is a very important question, okay? And uh, what uh, what I really think about Satan, well, uh, as you as you as you call him Satan. Uh, therefore, 
we come to understanding that Satan is very bad creature. Okay, so uh, the perfect creature goes to very dirty places. Okay, and therefore he he uh, does keep uh, doing that um, ugly things by you know things you're talking about. But I, I'm telling you the truth. I had no, no clue whatsoever about that. That's what I'm while I'm praying. Okay, uh, no no Satan had take any hair. Uh, any hair in, in, from my butt, because maybe I don't have hair in my uh, in, in my butt, but maybe I didn't feel that. I'm sorry. Well, what about you bring us a Muslim in here? He have hair in his butt. Uh, this is you're unique, a Muslim, an Arab, a Muslim. He don't have hair in his butt since when? Man, you should be bold from the top and from the bottom too. What is that? You lost all your hair, even down there? MashaAllah, brother, no problem. Okay, what about Satan sleep in your nose? What about Satan sleep in your nose? Don't tell me you don't have nose. Because honestly, if you say you don't have nose, uh, this will not be, nobody will believe it. Where is that? Who have the hadith guys about Satan will sleep in the nose of a Muslim? Who have written English? If not, I will show it to you. You are Mike Abu Hanbashi. sure your mic is not your nose your mic when satan he's sleeping your nose you never felt it too go ahead um okay um salam alaikum and uh, i want to say something um well i i what i know about islam actually that uh, angels and you know angels are in are uh, you know they love a guy who has a long beard uh, therefore they you know I had the sleep on his beards uh, but uh, we don't uh, you know <laughs> we don't actually get in, into someone's nose or Satan does maybe um, let me let me check that you don't put any link okay so can you tell us um, Satan why why could the Satan the huge Satan uh, you know Memorize him himself to into uh, uh, one's nose. It's really something nonsense. I think it's uh, yes, of your uh, lies. I, I know you are a liar. Okay, I know you are a liar. But you know what? Uh, you you would be a Muslim. You would be a Muslim. Okay. Just you know, uh, try understand Islam a little bit more. And everything would turn out to be fine with you. I'm sure. I swear to God, it's fine. Do you know where this spam is coming from? Well, uh, I have been here and heard that a lot of time. Let's talk about something else. This is a Satan and his Satan stories. Okay, but uh, now let me uh, let me ask you. You don't believe me that your prophet said Satan was sleeping in your nose, or you believe? I want to be sure first. Do you believe that? Your prophet say that? Oh no, never mind. Open the first link, Abu. Abu, you see the first link in the in the page? How it low he posted the first link. You see, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is the hadith in the front of you. 